Stronghold walkthrough for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. WikiGameGuides.com. WikiGameGuides.com. Veteran difficulty. I feel that we talked about this already, but it's not a Call of Duty game anymore. It's which is weird to think about. Because of who makes it or because of the name? Because of how they've it's been advertising it. Warfare. No, because of how they've been advertising it. It's their decision to not be Call of Duty anymore. They created a new franchise that is... Well, actually, I don't know about that 100%. But Modern Warfare is its own franchise now. Yeah, whereas the Treyarch doesn't have a franchise. Right. They get Call of Duty still. Right. So... Call what Duty game blankety blank. is this game going to sell better than Black Ops? Based on the gameplay of the campaign, mm -hmm. which would you say would sell better? If I was going to decide which game is going to sell better strictly based on my enjoyment of the campaign, is that what you're asking? Yeah. The quality. Black Ops. Okay. Um... Spec Ops. I like Spec Ops. I really do. I like those challenges because this has Spec Ops and Zombie Mode, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Black Ops didn't have Spec Ops. Black Ops, Spec Ops. Black Ops didn't have a Black Ops mode, right. if that makes any sense. But it had that awesome, you're strapped to the chair thing and you could walk around and like go to the computer and hack that. <laughs> yeah. That was such a cool little, tiny little thing that yeah. I really enjoyed. Uh, so I guess the main question will be, what kind of dent does Battlefield put into it? I would say if Battlefield didn't come out, yes, this would sell better than Black Ops. Really? You think it's going to have that big of an impact on it? Battlefield? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks better. It does look better. They it looks significantly better. Great. Significantly better. Ad campaign. <laughs> Beyond the call. Well, I mean, it's not like people don't know about Battlefield. Right. It's you know. Yeah, they've been advertising the number the one game it. on like N4G all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call. I mean, the, well, the other side of the argument is people are buying Modern Warfare 3 mm -hmm. for the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And they know the Call of Duty multiplayer are comfortable with the modern. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Madden now. Right. Call of Duty is the new Madden. Right. Whereas Battlefield is completely different, right? Multiplayer? You said it's yeah. a lot slower, more tactical. It is a significantly slower paced. Just because of... And it's not slower paced based on like your movement speed or the guns you get or the combat itself. Mm -hmm. It's that the, the featured game modes, mm -hmm. they, force, like, they force you to take more time to get into combat for the most part. So you learn over time to value each life more because the amount of time you have to spend getting back into it mm -hmm. is longer. I see. Um, that's not to say that, like, you know, if you're in a small enclosed area uh, in a pistol duel with one person in Call of Duty versus Battlefield, that's the exact same pace of the game. It's not like a Dota game, no. like League of Legends, yeah. slow paced versus. <laughs> Uh, this. Yeah. You know? It's like Halo's slower paced than this. I'd say Reach is slower paced. Uh, actually, I don't know. I didn't get enough into Reach, but... Seems slower paced than this. Yeah. Because it's, it's not like... This it's like is SWAT. fast paced. It's like, this is more like SWAT in Halo. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's much more frantic and just people sprinting around, knifing. And you can die so quickly. Oh yeah, you die super fast. It's frustrating. <laughs> like watching 
good people play, uh-huh. they're just running around like blam, blam, blam. And you're like, God, that must be frustrating to be on the other side oh, of yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see videos like that, and, I'm, and I, don't, I don't think, oh, that guy's good. I think, oh, this is not fun to play. <laughs> Whereas when I see a really good, like, Team Fortress or uh, League of Legends or StarCraft player, I'm like, wow, I'm jealous of that guy's talents. Yeah. He's genuinely talented, but when I see... You know, quick scoping montages and stuff like that. It's like, uh, this game, yeah, it's got some work to do. Doesn't say that it doesn't take talent. No, you're right. But that's not fun to be on the other side of it. No. At all. No. <laughs> it doesn't feel balanced at all. Right. This feels dumb. But then again, I still haven't played multiplayer for this at all yet. And I loved Call of Duty 4. I played the hell out of Call of Duty 4. Um, but those were simpler days. <laughs> oh, back in my day. That was four years ago. Is that really? Yeah. Jeez. Back in my day when I had to walk Just think, this is up gonna hills be... both ways to the midnight launch of a Call of Duty game. This is going to be some kid's first Call of Duty. This is probably going to be a lot of kids' first Call of Duty, actually. That blows my mind. I can't... The amount of games that I've played... Mm -hmm. It's probably getting close to four figures. Uh, Yeah. If you you count NES... And iPhone games. And iPhone games. And not like Flash games and shit like that. (laughs) But... Facebook the amount games. of retail games that I've played, Mafia Wars, and arcade games that I've played, Farmville, it's probably in the four figures. That's a scary thought. Have I wasted my entire life? Yes. Shit. Well. Okay. Yeah. That's just depressing to think about. <laughs> On to a better topic. Think of something better to talk about. Dropping out of college to do it. Did I drop me out of college, dude? To, to add to your game count. Yeah. Well, I didn't drop out to do that. <laughs> I dropped out because I liked making websites a lot better than I would ever like designing thermodynamic systems mm-hmm. like your dad does. Yeah. That sounds terrible. I didn't want to do that. I actually read a pretty interesting article on uh, the New York Times today about the huge dropout rate in the engineering and heavy sciences in colleges Mm -hmm. and how, um, you know, over recent years, the, oh, so for this part, just wait for price to say go and then you hit it. So so it's kind of like times with the thunder that's going on, Mm. but just wait for him to say it and then you'll be fine. Anyway, so the article is all about how, um, America in recent years has kind of fallen back compared to a lot of other countries. Oh my god, stop jumping. Uh, That's what happens when I get bored, man. I just do stupid things. Um, In terms of science education and math education. Yeah. But the reality is, is that in some public schools, it's actually getting very good. But the dropout rate for college students doing... Uh, advanced math and stuff like that at some schools is like 40 percent wow and well okay not just dropout rate dropout and major switching rate Mm -hmm. is like 40 percent which is huge yeah think about that 40 percent of the people that join the engineering school at uh they i think they said like cal cal state and then they were talking about like stanford and stuff like that you know it's way above a third of the people that are going to school there. And it's all because of, like, well, in high school, they're actually doing a lot of things to keep the curriculum interesting and entertaining. But in college, they don't give a fuck. It's just, memorize these equations. Yeah. Do these problems. Memorize these equations. Do these problems. And it was terrible. Well, anyway. Thanks for going to another uh, topic that's also (laughs) kind of depressing and down. Think of something better. Tebow. Tebow. Talk about Tebow. 
Or not. I mean, he's the best thing that's ever happened to the Broncos. <sighs> you take that back. <laughs> Andrew Luck is the best thing that ever happened to the Broncos. That's not going to happen. They're way too good. They can trade for him, man. Oh. They can trade for him. The Baltimore Colts drafted him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the Baltimore Colts. And then the Broncos, and then he refused to sign, and then the Broncos traded for John Elway. Number one draft pick out of Stanford. It can happen. He didn't do anything for the Broncos. John Elway? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All he did is run a bunch of car dealerships here in Colorado. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, what does he know about football? Nothing. Probably nothing. Actually, he probably got enough concussions to not really know a whole lot about it. So in this wine cellar... It's kind of slowly moving your way forward. This is when the game starts to get kind of tricky with the, the camouflaging of the people that you're trying to kill. Because they're becoming much more... Russian's not the right word, but they are. Like, you're fighting more advanced Russian military squad versus just people in Somalia and mm -hmm. shit like that. And they actually, when you think about it, do a good job of kind of distinguishing the AI between the two uh, factions. There's only two factions that you're fighting? Well, those two that I'm talking about right oh. now. I mean, there's probably... I, I don't fucking know. It's World the War III. This story be everyone. Dude, the story's dumb. The story's really dumb. Like, it's Transformers. Yeah. I don't care at all. I gave up really, really, really early on in the story for this game. Like, it... Earlier than most games, mm -hmm. I quit paying attention to it and starting listening to music and stuff when I was recording. Comedy. Yeah, exactly. Any good uh, suggestions for comedy? Anthony Jeselnik is one of the best stand-ups I've heard in a long time. I love him. He's coming to Denver in like two or three weeks, and I'm going to see him possibly twice. Like, I'm that pumped to see him. Wow. He is... I, we were watching that roast of Charlie Sheen, mm -hmm. and I don't like roasts. I, I've always thought they were very stupid. I've watched a couple of them in the past, and I thought they were just dumb. And they are. And they are dumb. <laughs> but I was almost crying how hard I was laughing at him. Yeah. Uh, and his, his, he's got one stand-up CD out right now that's really funny that I liked a lot. It's very Mitch Hedberg style. It's like a whole bunch of one-liners. Yeah. Except he's not nearly the stoner that Mitch Hedberg was, <laughs> which I think is what a lot of people kind of liked about Mitch. Yeah. The very... Like, he, he had such a stoner voice, such a laid-back attitude. Oh, yeah. That was brilliant. And it, like, went well with the jokes he was telling. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Anthony Jeselnik is a lot more offensive, mm -hmm. but the same kind of rhythm and style mm. to Mitch. Just... No story like a lot of comics have, uh, but uh, just tons of super offensive warm liners. And, he, and the, the way he transitions <laughs> between them is like really well done. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. I can't think of any other really good comedians that got me pumped. Oh, Amy Schumer is actually really funny too. Who was on the roast. Yeah, who was on the roast as well. Like I've heard her stuff. I listen to her CD. It's actually really good too. And there's Which not a lot of very rare funny for a yeah, female. Not a lot of funny women, period. Let alone stand ups that I would highly recommend checking out. Yeah. And she's good. It's super offensive, too. Yeah. Like she's practically a dude. <laughs> the way she talks about, I don't know, sex or whatever offensive yeah. things you could talk about. <laughs> yeah. What about you? I haven't listened to anything. Mm, how boring. So, uh, take out that bridge, jump down, sprint across. And this last part's kind of crappy. It's... I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's like... You have to make your way to the door of this car up on the right, and you are not supposed to kill everybody. And you just have to know that mm -hmm. to be able to get through this. Like, if you try to kill everybody, you'll be there for hours. 
I, I, you'll, you'll never live through it. It's just too hard. Yeah. You just have to kind of make a sprint for it. Like wait for your opportunity. Maybe throw a flashbang or two in the gren- uh, flashbang grenade or two in the air. Ooh. Yeah, close to death there. And then, uh, yeah, and then you just run to the car, jump in, hit X, and then you're not invincible, but I have not, well, maybe you are invincible. I haven't died on this escape part yet. You don't have to kill anything, Mm -hmm. but it's not like... you duck? No, you are stuck. You drive out, and drive off the cliff, and pull the parachute after you drive off. It's pretty fucking sweet, actually. Pretty awesome little cinematic. Sweet. 